Good afternoon. I'm Mike Peterson, and here's the latest from the KMA Newsroom on this Wednesday afternoon. Shenandoah officials are hoping to purchase land as the future site of a new city facility. At its regular meeting Tuesday evening, the Shenandoah City Council set a public hearing for February 14th at 6 p.m., on entering into a contract with Valley Farms Incorporated to purchase five acres of land on Ferguson Road. Speaking on KMA's Morning Line program this morning, Shenandoah Mayor Roger McQueen says the city hopes to construct a new street department shop across from the Iowa National Guard Armory. He says it's a facility the city's needed for a long time. So this is something we've talked about uh, since I came in last January, a, week, a year ago January. Uh, is the possibility of that, and uh, with uh, this coming up being available, uh, it seemed like an ideal location for it, and uh, I think, you know, it's it's much needed. We need to get our equipment in. We need to have be able to work on it and so forth, and so uh, that would be our plan, you know, if everything goes through. Owners of a new business are hoping to clean up in downtown Shenandoah in more ways than one. Almost a year after a major land sale decision and after months of construction work, the doors to the Lemon Fresh Laundry at 601 West Sheridan Avenue swung open for the first time this week. By a 3-2 to two vote last February, the Shenandoah City Council approved the sale of the former Radio Shack property to Sorensen Auto for construction of the new laundromat. Manager Kathy Silvestri told KMA News the new laundromat has been busy since it opened on Monday morning. My mind was blown, to be honest. Um, everybody who has reached out, they love it. Um, they are so glad that it's here. It's definitely something that was long overdue. You can view the video story on the Lemon Fresh Laundry's opening online at kmaland.com. Montgomery County officials are addressing questions regarding closing the county courthouse due to bad weather. Discussion regarding possible changes to the county's handbook concerning inclement weather took place at Tuesday morning's County Board of Supervisors meeting. Ultimately, the board decided to leave the current policy as is. And Red Oak resident and longtime promoter John Murren is among this year's inductees into the Iowa Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. We have that story online at KMALand.com. KMA on track weather. Cloudy this afternoon. Temperature falling into the lower 20s. Tonight, mostly cloudy. Lows in the lower teens. Mostly sunny tomorrow and cold with highs in the upper 20s. More news at 12.05 and 1.05 this afternoon and 5.05 and 6.05 this evening. And more news online at KMALand.com. Have a very pleasant Wednesday afternoon. Mike Peterson, so long, my friend.